Hey there, hi there, ho oh there, hello everyone. It is time for another round of, uh, Shine Get in Mario Sunshine in post-commentary. I was originally planning to have Walter join me for this video, but, uh, we ended up streaming instead last week. Um, P.S. Let me know if you would like me to upload a highlights video from that stream, or you can always just look at the at the stream. It's on Twitch, the whole thing. But you know, it it be something that I could do if people want me to. So anyway, yeah, uh, time for more sped up 100 coin shine getting. Uh, but not before I try to get these two blue coins that are an extremely big pain in the ass for absolutely no reason. I maintain that it's kind of impossible to, like... Because you need to dive in order to go down to where the coin is, but at a certain point that stops your forward momentum and the coin floats very quickly through the water, and so you have to press A to go up, but that makes you go up higher, and then, you know, by the time you finally make it over the coin, it's just clipped into the fucking ground, nowhere to be seen, because this game is excellent, so... Uh, but, you know, obviously, did it. Took, like, five minutes, but did it. Um, and Gelato Beach is one of the annoying levels. The levels where it is annoying to get a 100 coin shine just because, well, for one thing, you have to deal with these fucking quacker asses. Um, but you have to... There aren't too many coins in here, and if you miss any of them, you pretty much have to get all of these, or at least most of these ducks, the coins in them, if you have any chance of doing it. But, uh, yeah, there was quite a bit of wandering around in this one, just trying to find as many coins as I could. It's always weird when you're playing the game, it always seems like there's easily a hundred coins uh, in, in every level, and then you actually have to get 100 coins, and it ends up being this big to-do. Um, so, not really sure why that is, but, or how that works, but that's, that's what I am undergoing at the moment. Anyway, I uh, don't have much to talk about here because, again, it's just 100 coin shines. I don't really think there's much in the way of interesting commentary for this. Um, and I feel like I want to distract as much as I can from the actual video since I feel like watching a lot of sped-up footage for, like, 25 minutes straight will probably be a little bit disorienting. So, yeah, I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to get those, um... Uh, these coins that I'm trying in vain to get right here, um, that are in the middle of the air. I mean, I guess maybe the rocket nozzle, but either way, it's a very precise jump that you'd have to make there, so... But you don't even have to do it, so fuck that. Ah, you're yawning. <clears throat> so, um... I didn't really come prepared with anything to talk about, unfortunately, because I'm an excellent Let's Player. Um, I, I, the thing that's on my mind most prominently right now is I found out that someone graciously uploaded the Cory in the House Let's Watch videos that I took down for a reason uh, onto archive.org, so I'm glad that um, arguably my most problematic video decision uh, is now enshrined forever, and I cannot do anything about it. Um, and I still, from time to time, get people asking me if they can have it. They're like, yeah, I know that you, like, you know, have grown up and have realized that it's just racist to have four white people in a video making fun of black people and using racial slurs in over a show about black people. 
Um, and, you know, even if to you it, it was just in the, you know, the humor of, of shock, of I wasn't expecting them to say the N-word, that really does not fly as an excuse. Um, but people are like, oh, you know, in, in spite of all of that, uh, you know, could I have it? Because, you know, I, I get that you don't like the racist humor, but... I do, and I want to watch it, and so, yeah, I, I don't know, I just constantly haunted by the shitty YouTube videos that I made in the past, and I, I just hope that the bulk of my YouTube output since becoming an adult with well-formed opinions, because I don't think people realize that all the time, is that I was in high school and the very, very beginning of college when I was making, like, the Sammy videos and the Max Cruiser video and stuff like that. And, like, I don't even like watching them anymore. They make me feel bad, like, uh, because I have met other people and I know the consequences of stuff like that. Um, and specifically in the case of Sammy, uh, it's like, he reached out and specifically told me that our videos were causing him great distress and making him depressed, and, like, what's the fucking value in that? So, uh, also, I, I was looking today, at, you know, amid my thinking about this and, and all of that which was going on today, um... I looked up Sammy. I wanted to see what he was doing. I wanted to see if he had gotten back into making content because um, the last I remembered of him was in 2016. I found his Twitter account um, just called Sammy Harbors. And um, he was like, first of all, I remember him posting some like pro Trump shit at some point, which is very interesting. Um, and would be fucking hilarious if it's true. Um, that, that he's a Trump supporter, that would be absolutely insane. I would absolutely love for him to make a video, like, in his normal Sammy-isms, explaining, like, WE NEED TO BUILD THE WALL! Like, that would be incredible. Um, but no, he has a new YouTube channel, and he... The thing he seems to update most frequently is his Instagram, both of which are under the name of Sammy Zenith. I, you know, not the name I would have chose, but, uh, you know, it's cool. And I, uh, I was looking and he's, like, kind of killing it. Like, he is, uh, in college now. I, I don't remember what he is studying, but I would imagine some sort of video game thing. It seemed, the college seemed like a place that, you know, you would go to do that. Uh, he had a video where he attended E3, which is cool. Uh, he has like 110,000 Instagram followers, so. I, and I just felt, this is what began my whole, you know, my thinking about the Cory videos and just that era of my YouTube presence in general. Um... Uh, well, I was looking up Sammy, and I saw him, and I just felt this this twinge in my body. I was like, I feel even worse for making fun of him now. He's like, uh, just a dude, and he's, you know, making YouTube videos and playing Mario Odyssey with his grandparents and shit, and, you know, it makes me think back to when I started making YouTube videos, and how completely unjustified it was for us to shit all over Max Cruiser for being a child whose greatest sin was just not being very good at making YouTube videos. Um, and, I mean, you know, we like to... We justified it and liked to give him shit because he copied a video of ours, but for one thing, it's not like Let's Watches are a super you know, groundbreaking or new thing that we invented or anything like that. And also, uh, like, I copied YouTubers all the fucking time when I started making YouTube videos. My first year or so on YouTube was basically just 
Let's Playing all of the easily emulatable games that Picked Up on a Bus had Let's Played at the time, and regurgitating much of the commentary, except sometimes I would talk about, you know, how middle school was going. And <laughs> so, I don't know, there's... I, it just uh, took me down memory lane in one of the worst ways possible, because it really... I, it just put everything into perspective for me. Which, I mean, it always has been, hence why I took those videos down, but... It just reminded me, like, you know, there's already so much bad shit aimed at children on YouTube. That, and I don't just mean the very predatory, uh, like, little baby bum Elsa gate sort of videos where they have all sorts of weird, violent, and sexual imagery hidden in these nursery rhyme videos, which, by the way, I am still seeing those types of videos in my recommended videos on this channel, on, you know, my Let's Play videos, even though nothing about the videos themselves has anything to do with any of that shit, be it the titles, the content, or the tags. Um, the only thing that happened is that I mentioned them in, uh, text and Twitter messages. I don't exactly know how that manifested into them becoming recommended videos on my videos, but... All I know is, they weren't there before, I texted my brother explaining it in detail, and then they were there, and they haven't gone away. And now that I've mentioned it in my video, I'm sure they will continue to be there. I mean, is it just because I play games, like, aimed at children? Is, is If you do anything aimed at children now, then you are going to be indirectly feeding into this horrible network of seemingly innocuous videos that people use for, like, profiting off of the misery of young babies? I just, I hate it. Anyway, I feel like this was very out of nowhere, all of this, uh... I, I, I mean, I won't call it complaining, um, but all, all this sort of bloviating about my earlier YouTube time, and I mean, the people who are new to my videos, or who, uh, at the very least, have only started watching me within the last couple of years, are gonna be like, what the fuck are you even talking about? And, I mean, that's how I want it to be. <laughs> I, I really would just like to erase the memory of all of that, as I would like to erase the memory of pretty much everything about myself from before, like, two or three years ago. I mean, you know, again, I was in high school and freshman year of college, and I thought a lot of very fucking stupid things at the time. And, you know, I, I would have... If I had stayed unfettered on the path that I was on at the time, you would probably, at this point, hear me regurgitating the hot takes of people like Ben Shapiro and Jordan Peterson and shit, and, like, those guys are fucking morons and racist, and, uh, I'm, you know, I'm glad that I kind of got out of that YouTube pipeline. Which started weirdly enough with, like, edgy atheists, because I was, you know, when I was in Catholic school, I, I became not religious, and I, you know, wanted to feel normal, because everybody in my life was telling me that, like, even the people who were supportive of me, like my friends, they were like, uh... Well, you know, it, it, it's okay to be on a journey, and it's okay to not know exactly what you believe, but, you know, you should you should figure it out and believe that, because you might go to heck if you don't. And that's not fucking helpful. Um, so, I would go to YouTube, and I got uh, into, you know, like, Amazing Atheist and all those fucking channels, some of which are, like, I maintain are good. Like, uh... I don't remember their names, but there were some that legitimately were just, like, good 
arguments against, uh, you know, various religious prospects and talking about how religiosity permeates culture uh, and the mechanisms by which it does that. But at some point, and I, someone better than me has probably recounted exactly how this came about, but at some point that sort of YouTube crowd and ethos merged with the, like, anti-SJW, like, making fun of the feminazis, uh, and, like, an anti-PC, uh, wh what other moniker was I thinking of? Um, uh, you know, I mean, like, classical liberal is a, is a good one for it. Also, I, I really love how even the 100 coin shine for Pianta Village was a pain in the ass, because this was actually my third attempt here that you're watching, because there are very easily missable coins, and I did not know that you had to pound on those mushrooms until the third time around. And then I almost fell off of the entire fucking stage while trying to collect a shine, so I am very, very glad to finally actually be done with Pianta Village now, because... I think it's probably my least favorite level. The the missions that aren't actively infuriating are just wholly unmemorable to me. Um, what was not wholly unmemorable to me was the fact that I had to get these blue coins. And I this part is sped up, but the boat part where I actually collect the blue coins, I, I leave it unedited because I am astounded that I was able to do this in one go. Uh, and, and I just want you to appreciate the finesse that is involved in maneuvering this finicky-ass boat. Um, I mean, you can already kind of see it here, especially with turning, because certain parts of the corner, if you spray, it'll just go backwards and not turn. And uh, it just seems very reluctant to turn in general. Meanwhile, if you spray backward or forward for more than, like, a half a second, then you're gonna go shooting forward at 10,000 miles an hour, but... I digress. So this is me collecting those blue coins and taking a drink of water. Uh... But yeah, at some point, that sort of atheist contingent of YouTube merged with what now, you know, some some might call the alt-light or whatever, but the people who act like, you know, uh, people using the terms trigger and safe spaces is as bad or worse of a cultural phenomenon than the mainstream embrace of white supremacist rhetoric, um, which they, inadvertently or otherwise, have a hand in helping propagate, so just by virtue of the people that they associate themselves with and the arguments that they entertain as being smart. Uh, so, and it was around that- oh, Gamergate, that was the other thing that I was uh, gonna relate it to, is that it was around Gamergate that this really started happening, and that, in general, I feel like the YouTube, the greater, like, YouTube community of nerds that I was aware of started fracturing into the are you PC, anti-PC, or are you indifferent, which usually just means allowing the anti-PC crowd to do whatever they want. Um, and, I mean, of course, it's the internet, so all of this is and was painfully fucking stupid. Um, but it did, because it was so painfully stupid, I started getting wise to it and also was in the process of, you know, turning 18 and... <laughs> meeting people who didn't grow up exactly like me and listening to their experiences and believing them, and it has resulted- also, like, reading about the history of things and, like, learning how things work, uh, yeah. 
so... I, I don't really know where I was going with this. All I was saying was, I, at the time of making, like, the Sammy videos and the Cory videos and the Thomas videos where I laugh at and participate in blind, like, very bald-faced racist humor, um, and, and, you know, if not outright racism, there was also stuff like, I don't particularly like how much I used, uh, forgive me, the words retarded and faggot in a lot of my earlier videos, but again, the point I was trying to make was, I was very much a product of the internet culture that I was uh, a part of, and um, yeah, luckily this is the last blue coin, but I lost the boat right at the end there, and so I, I decided to just go for it here. Well, in a, in a minute, I guess. Yeah, this is me making sure that I got all the other ones. I actually went back and did this level again and went and drove the boat around just to make sure for sure that those were all the blue coins. Um, and then I went back on in the recording and counted them to triple check. But yeah, there you go. There's all the blue coins in Corona Mountain, and now I'm dead. And uh, to close this video out... We're gonna start with some blue coin stuff in Delfino Plaza. Um, the next video will likely be the last video, and that'll be another sort of sped up, rapid fire collecting video, um, where we go into all of the levels and get the remaining 80 something blue coins, 70 something blue coins, however much are left. Um, but here I'm getting the remaining ones in Delfino Plaza. The most work heavy of them being these uh, fruit basket ones. Um, had to kind of get a hang of getting up there, but once you once you figure out how you can maneuver with these fruit, these get pretty easy. Um, it's just a matter of uh, not being a big dumbass like I'm uh, doing currently. But anyway, I I just wanted to talk about it because I think it's interesting how, you know, what is acceptable in internet culture has sort of changed, and, you know, I feel like a lot of people, especially a lot of boys like me, were in that sort of... I'm not gonna say I was always well-meaning, you know, that I was, I was doing well-intentioned racism, but... Uh, you know, to me it was the... I, I was able to separate my actual feelings about the issue of racism from the, uh, you know, the, the, the quote-unquote shock value humor of hearing racist stuff. But then, again, I became an adult, and I realized that if you actually give a shit about the well-being of other people, then you can't separate those two. You can't take that shit lightly and think that it's cool. Especially now that we're in this era of so much actually harmful shit on the internet and actually racist shit on the internet, being hand-waved as irony and as a joke, and that's really all you need to say for at least some people to find it acceptable. And I don't know. I, I can't in good conscience say that I find, you know, making fun of children for not making good YouTube videos or, you know, using and laughing at racial slurs in videos I, I can't really stand by any of that, and so I've taken it down, I have apologized for it before, and I hope that the, the body of work that I am amassing since then will speak for itself and will vouch for me as a no longer... a person who is no longer as shitty as they used to be. But I don't know, I, I am just always anxious about having to explain and apologize for my past self, and I can't really do anything about my past self. All I can do is admit 
to it and uh, do my best to never emulate it again and and to you know weed out any harmfulness in my videos you know as you know as we go forward so anyway th this is a very heavy topic that I swear to God I did not mean to um, spend the entire video talking about but it's something that's been on my mind in recent days, and it's something that I'm curious how people feel about. Um, the people who watch my videos now, and especially the people who watch the videos on this channel, because, like, this isn't even my popular shit. Like, you people are watching this because you just like hearing my voice. And so, I, I don't know. I, I hope that I have done what I can to make my YouTube presence less toxic and terrible than it very much once was. Um, and, uh, yeah, on that note, I'm the fucking king of not really doing these video endings well and keeping the commentary actually related to the gameplay. Next time... We will not be talking about this. We will be finishing the game, most likely, getting the rest of the blue coins and giving them to those, uh, those wily, rascally raccoons at Rico Harbor. So, thank you for listening to me ramble, and I'll see you then for that.